Hi everyone. I brought a friend with me today. This is White Chicken. He's gonna help me read a story to you. It's about Little Red Chicken. And the name of the book is Interrupting Chicken. And I hope you like it as much as we do. Interrupting Chicken by David Ezra Stein. This book is called Interrupting Chicken, right, Papa? Yes. Now please don't interrupt the story. It was bedtime for the little red chicken. Okay, my little chicken, said Papa. Are you all ready to go to sleep? Yes, Papa, but you forgot something. What's that? asked Papa. A bedtime story. All right, said Papa. I'll read one of your favorites. And of course, you are not going to interrupt the story tonight, are you? Oh, no, Papa, I'll be good. Hansel and Gretel. Hansel and Gretel were very hungry. Deep in the woods, they found a house made of candy. Nibble, nibble, nibble. They began to eat the house until the old woman who lived there came out and said, What lovely children. Why don't you come inside? They were just about to follow her when... Out jumped the little red chicken and she said, Don't go in! She's a witch! So Hansel and Gretel didn't. The end. Chicken. Yes, Papa? You interrupted the story. Try not to get so involved. I'm sorry, Papa. But she really was a witch. Well, you're supposed to be relaxing so you can fall asleep. Let's try another story. I'll be good. Little Red Riding Hood. Take this basket of goodies to Grandma, said Little Red Riding Hood's mother. But don't stray from the path. The woods are full of danger. Red Riding Hood skipped along through the deep woods. By and by, she met a wolf who wished her good morning. She was about to answer him when... Out jumped a little red chicken and she said, Don't talk to strangers! So Little Red Riding Hood did it. The end. Chicken. Yes, Papa? You did it again. You interrupted two stories, and you're not even sleepy. I know, Papa. I'm sorry. But he was a mean old wolf. Yes, now get back into bed. Okay, Papa. Let's try one more little story, and I'll be good. Chicken Little Chicken Little was hit on the head by an acorn. The sky is falling, she thought. She was about to run off and warn Goosey Lucy, Ducky Lucky, Henny Penny, and everyone on the farm the sky was falling. When... Ouch on the little red chicken as she said, Don't panic! It was just an acorn! So Chicken Little didn't. The end. Chicken. Yes, Papa, you did it again. Oh, Papa, I couldn't let that little chicken get all upset over an acorn. Please read one more story and I promise I'll fall asleep. But chicken, said Papa, we are out of stories. Oh, no, Papa, I can't go to sleep without a story. Then, said Papa Yanni, why don't you tell me a story? Me tell a story, said the little red chicken. Okay, Papa, here we go. Um, Bedtime for Papa by Chicken. Once there was a little red chicken who put her Papa to bed. She read him a hundred stories. She even gave him more milk, but nothing worked. He stayed wide awake all
Papa. Good night, Papa. The end. Did you like that story? We did too. I love the excitement and the wonderful ideas that the little red chicken has to save the storybook characters. It's pretty neat when we have some really great ideas and we want to share them with everybody. But sometimes it's better when we save them for appropriate times to share. Anyway, I hope you liked that book and I will see you next time.